All right, my dudes, let's go ahead and break down this Mortal Kombat 1 gameplay reveal trailer frame by frame, one step at a time. Take it one step at a time. Okay, so this is where we're at. This is what I wanted to see. I want to take the gameplay that we have from this trailer and I'm going to slow it down to 0.25 speed and we're going to break it down and kind of just see what we can gather. I'm not going to let it. This scene right here, let's go ahead and start. This scene right here, this kind of reminds me of the uh, Injustice 2 bar scene, the uh, bar stage we had there for their like stage interactables and stuff. But like, I'm not going to lie to you. As we go through this, this feels and looks like Injustice justice too which i don't think is a bad thing i don't think it's gonna be everyone's favorite thing but this is kind of the way they frame this fight and kind of where the camera's at in a way it just looks in justice 2 we they were probably making a justice 3 it was like let's wait mortal kombat 1 well we already got the thing for it so let's make it so anyways i'm sorry go back go back <laughs> so i missed a part right there that so this combo that right there see that so he's blocking hit overhead and then this right here this little like animation that i think was an enhancement i think that's what we call a meter burn i think you just meter burned a special move or that, that might have been a cancel you might have canceled into something so i don't know if that was a meter burn or a cancel we don't have like the meters up here to show unfortunately in the air hit comes down before sub-zero lands hits him again again dude the combos are looking absolutely ridiculous a reset stand your opponent back up into another special move then finish the combo oh my gosh see what i mean this right here the way the characters are framed here does not look like even mkx or mk11 this looks very similar to injustice 2. i don't have a problem with that but a lot of you in the comments might so <laughs> you guys are like i don't want injustice 3 it's fine it's totally cool uh, Sub-Zero's classic move, special move, jumping for the overhead attack, as Sub-Zero obviously always does. What was that hitbox? You guys see that? Like, Sub-Zero's fist didn't even hit his head. It just went up and then just... Right? Th that hits? This? That's your hitbox? This This is your hitbox? Not a fan of that, but... <laughs> right, let's keep going. Pulls out a skull spine, goes to bash him like crazy. This is Sub-Zero's time for a combo. Massive setup. Double hit in the air. Bounce off the ground from the red combo. Hit forward heavy maybe back heavy there then the slide here pulls out the spear for the special stabs him holds him down that's the end of the combo so we just saw kung lao's and sub-zero's combo right there of their gameplay um i'm not gonna lie it looks pretty sick but this is also what we want to see we want to see again kenshi and uh johnny cage go at it just for a second too so this is where it starts so when I first saw this, I was like, oh my gosh, it's Kenshi. So a couple things that I want to talk about as we continue here is just the way they have framed their game. The, the First of all, the game looks amazing. Like this stage looks awesome. The characters look phenomenal. Gameplay, I think, looks great. A pretty fluid. I want to see a couple more. This is why we're breaking down because what I'm noticing so far is the way the camera frame has been set for this game and the, the way it shows your characters on screen during a fight it feels a it looks a bit the way it looks it feels a bit different than maybe what we're used to in the past couple mortal kombat games again i'm totally cool so this is where kenji i love the kenji look too man he's over here and then and, oh he's fighting over here oh my gosh a special move possibly in this fight is where we see the cameo fighter so is this an x-ray oh my gosh can you guys even see that look oh my gosh johnny cage has got an absolute dumpy on him oh my god johnny are you okay all right enough of the distractions johnny so this is where we see the cameo i don't know if this is where an x-ray happens or is this, or is this an x-ray or is this like i mean the, the 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 kind of cinematic there makes it feel like an x-ray so that makes me and the way the black background but the characters are not black and white so the characters are colored this is gonna be an x-ray so this makes me wonder so are cameo fighters also going to kind of dictate and change your supers like does every character have a part one and part two to a super and depending on who you are and who your cameo is that's how your super is going to go so for an example sub-zero if you play sub-zero and your main character sub-zero like that's who you're playing as uh then your part one for a super looks like x y and z where you're if you're cameo fighter sub zero does the cameo do his part two of a super equaling one two three does that make sense like you're gonna see here the super is split into two so sub zero does his part breaks johnny cage's face the x-ray happens love to see that pretty sick and then i believe kenshi comes in yeah so kenshi slams him from both sides so that's kenshi's super part two so 
I'm betting you that no matter who you choose, whether it be Scorpion, Kano, Sonya, Jax, or even Sub-Zero, and you're playing Kenshi, and you go to do a super, your cameo is gonna do their part first, right? And then Kenshi's always gonna do this part because you're playing Kenshi, right? So it, though it will look different, it's only it's only gonna look different because the character that you chose for a cameo is gonna be different, but Kenshi's part's always gonna be this part with his specter form, essentially. Uh, which, by the way, is freaking sick. Double crossing. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, so they're bringing back the full-on body, the bones, the brakes, and all that. Then he steps back and brings it in both sides. Explosion. Oh, it looks so sick. Um, but you see what I mean, though? So I, I think that no matter who you might have chosen, Scorpion would have done his, you know, one-two hit bone break. And then Kenshi would have just done that part. So depending on who you choose your super changes only because your cameo changed that's it but then your character's part of the super kind of stays the same rush in with a combo kind of starting the blocks there i'm wondering if they're going to go to injustice and block with the back button or block with a, like a trigger button like they always do for mortal kombat games that might have been a command grab or maybe even a super for johnny cage it looked like a command grab it looked that was a bit of a command grabby feel yeah grab so command grab whether it be, you know, half circle punch or whatever, this is a command grab. You see what we gotta break it down? So far, by the way, I'm not seeing any stage interactables. So uh, I don't remember if we see any in the entire trailer, but it, it seems like they're not bringing that back. And that was a thing in, in Justice 1 and 2, MKX and 11. So if they don't bring back stage interactables, that'll be super interesting. And, and I think we would have seen one by now in this kind of gameplay trailer. There's the low hit for the combo. Then the Nutcracker, love to see the split star Johnny Cage. Oh my gosh. And so dude, this model for Johnny Cage is super, not like bad, it's good. It's just different than what we're used to seeing Johnny Cage's like facial structure, you know what I mean? Let me know down below, what do you think of Johnny Cage's facial structure? It's super interesting, it's, it's just a bit different, obviously. But the way him mean, is like outro, that's pretty funny. Fire guy Luke Kane comes up, so this is not gameplay. I want to see like that we're breaking down the game. Okay, oh yeah, he's like I'm a god, I'm a god of fire or whatever, and you're like holy cow. First of all, Luke Kane looks freaking dope. So I was like, you talking to my god over there, bro? Yeah, get off me. And then it shows off Luke Kang's gameplay. And Luke Kang, I think he's fighting uh, Scorpion this first, but yeah. So here's his combos. He, Luke Kang looks different gameplay wise. They just for MKX and 11, which I actually like. Cause I wanted to play uh, Luke Kang and MK11. I just couldn't get with it. I think I can get with this. That was a weird low pop-up, by the way. Did you guys see that? He comes up here, hits a low. That is a pop-up. Oh my gosh. Then he teleports. Comes up. Another setup. Oh my gosh. Then Jack's cameo. So right there, he did forward or down or back R1. Brings in his cameo fighter. Jax slams him down on the shoulder, throws him out. Luke King throws a projectile. So Luke King has a projectile, it seems. That's gotta be a special move for Luke King. Then he fire kicks towards him. That was a combo. Jax is like, I'm out of here, baby. See you later. Just runs back. Scorpion's famous spear. Obviously, get over here. Here we go. And then he's in a daze. This is Scorpion's famous thing. We're going to see a combo, probably a pop-up. There's a big pop-up. Dude, air combos are a bit... Look at that one, two hit. Three hit in the air. What is this, Smash Bros? Holy cow. Four hit in the air. Coming down, five hit in the air. Resets him. Well, kind of. It throws him back, I guess. That's kind of not a reset. But still, five hit in the air combo before Liu Kang landed. Absolutely disgusting. Again, no stage interactables so far. That was an enhance. You guys see that? So normally the, the the dragon was orange, and we just saw an enhancement there with Liu Kang, thus turning the dragon blue. So he gets a hit off, hit off right there. That little bean that was an enhancement. I'm making the thing probably faster, more of a pop up as well for the projectile. Another enhancement for a spinning kick. Okay, that's kind of hot. There it is. I wonder if that's like in-game animation or if that was just for the uh, trailer here today. I'm hoping that's kind of in-game animation. Oh yeah, and then my boy, I've always been a rated main, always. So I was super excited to see his gameplay. First of all, this is no longer Thunder God Raiden. This is now Thunder Guy Raiden. This is just a guy, a monk named Raiden who just has thunder powers, I guess. There's a low, oh, the cell move is really good because this is a good anti-air and it covers both sides, uh, we're assuming. Because uh, that's kind of what it did in MK11. Couple hits, and then you can pop him up for a combo here. But he decides to throw out his cameo fighter, which I think is he fighting just a monk or is he fighting a Kenshi monk? Here comes Sonya, cameo fighter pop up from Sonya. So not even from, I'm going to assume Kenshi. 
and then Kano. So, oh, okay, hold on. So that means while Raiden was getting comboed, you can call your cameo fighter while getting comboed and save yourself. So we see Raiden here. Sonya set Raiden up for Kenji. Raiden is in hit stun, meaning he can't do anything normally. But instead, here comes Kano. Kano to save the day, hits Kenshi, saves Raiden. Raiden lands, and now the fight has reset. So Raiden, is that a form of breaker? So there, I wonder if there's no breakers now. And the way to get out of combos is to use your cameo fighter. That is super interesting. Uh, Raiden projectile, which we have always had for Raiden, which is super great. A teleport slams the ground. Love so teleport behind him for a combo here. Then another, then another Kano setup. So Kano being a cameo, using him before for the ball to get out of combo. Reset teleport. Use Kano again. That was actually really fast. He refreshed really fast. So it seems like you can you, you can't probably can't spam it, but but Raiden's using Kano again in the middle of a combo using the knives to stun them, kick them. Then comes in for the overhead kick. Love to see that pop up. Then go for another combo. Then I think this sends in a command grab or some kind of air grab. Love that. That is so hot. I love Raiden so much. But we just learned a couple things. Another pop up and Kano came out twice in the same combo just after being used to escape a combo. So cameo fighters are absolutely gonna be a major thing in Mortal Kombat 1. Like they are going to be Mortal Kombat 1. That is what Mortal Kombat 1 is gonna be known for, is hey, I play Raiden, oh great, me too, but my Raiden's very different because I play with Kano, you play with Sonya. So your combos, the way you play might be a bit differently because your cameo fighter is Sonya. So let's say there's 20 cameo fighters. Honestly, anybody Scorpion will play very different there'll, there'll be 20 different scorpions out there because scorpion and his gameplay will change depending on who his cameo fighter is and that is super interesting again no stage interactables in that entire fight nothing that i saw i think they moved away from the stage interactables and went towards cameo fighters because having cameo fighters with stage interactables might have been a lot i mean i'm gonna be real with you cameo fighters already seem like a lot okay here's the uh, katana and melina fight so here we start katana with a special move it seems oh coming in hot Here's our normal kicks. We love those in the air. Love to see that. Here's our fans coming out. So we got some special moves. Again, I don't think we see any interactables here for the stage. Another air combo. Look at that. One, two, three, possibly four. No, okay, so still a three hits again. What is this freaking Smash Bros? Goodness gracious. It's absolutely psychotic. Melina teleports. Oh, I love that teleport. Lines on the same side, though. That's really good, actually. They think they're going to go for mix up psych. And then Goro comes in as a cameo fighter. One, two, I think it's four times, three, and then four. Oh, no, F that, five and six. Five and six hits, uppercut, setup, ball roll, another setup. Oh my gosh, so cameo fighters can be used in a combo and you can continue the combo even after using a cameo fighter. That is psychotic. Then we end the, then we end the combo there. Here we go to Sub-Zero and Raiden. Oh, again, I just love the Raiden look here. We have the medallion on Raiden's hip. Just a small note, it looks like. We have a medallion. I don't know why that's, that it could be from MK11. But Kung Lao comes in. So we know Kung Lao is a main fighter, but it looks like Kung Lao is also a cameo fighter. So again, Raiden was using Kano before. Well, now Raiden is here using Kung Lao. So this Raiden is going to play a bit differently than the Raiden we saw earlier because of the cameo fighter changing to Kung Lao. Again, air combo. Hits him up, one, two, and then three hits. Oh my gosh, charges forward, air charge, rule out. That's a sick special move. I actually love to see that, that is so hot. Back to Liu Kang, we've got a projectile going to Melina. This is the fight that everyone freaked out at because all you Striker fans lost your goddamn mind seeing Striker for once. So Melina comes in, grabs him, says, psych, here comes Striker. So that was a grab, it looked like. That was a grab. But is that is that Melina's form of use? Actually, look, she grabs him. Does she grab him and then use the cameo fighter button or is this part of the cameo fighter hit? So here comes Striker again. Uh, we, as of right now, we know he's a cameo fighter. Great. All your Striker fans, I guess you're welcome. You got Striker back. <laughs> is he playable? We don't know, but we definitely know he's a cameo fighter. So it'll be super interesting to see how Striker, you know, is as a cameo fighter. Here we go. Kung Lao, Johnny Cage, uh, Kano, I'm mean, Kung Lao's normal air hit. Johnny Cage punishes that with a hit and then, oh my gosh. So again, let's back it up. In the middle of a combo, Johnny Cage had punished Kung Lao, says no, overhead. See that hit. 
in the middle of a combo you can interrupt and say no 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 i'm not getting comboed i i think that little burst we saw might have been the game's version of a breaker and i think every cameo fighter will have a breaker hit allowing you to get out of a combo using your cameo fighter so the cameo fighter jacks comes in breaks up the combo and says no we're breaking out of this combo and then he's out of here so here we have a team up scorpion kung lao awesome freaking combo there love to freaking see that and again this is that was the start of an x-ray or a super and i thought i think that scorpion is the main person so his cameo fighter kung lao is starting his super doing kung lao's first part of the super so kung lao comes in and does his so no matter who you play if your cameo fighter is kung lao this is how kung lao will start your super there goes the x-ray part bada bing bada boom and then scorpion comes in and does his part for the super and then we always have some great fatalities here by the way by the way we saw we saw kano here doing a fatality i don't I, this has got to be fatality you ripped out the heart so i don't think that cameo fighters can do a fatality with that assumption with kano doing a fatality i think it's safe to assume that kano is going to be on the main roster of this game i don't see i mean maybe they will maybe they'll do like cameo fatality i don't i don't know maybe they're like team up fatality where kano tears your heart out and then scorpion walks in cut your head off i don't know but from this from this image alone it looks like kano is doing the fatality so i'm gonna assume that i i must i'm under the assumption that cameos can't do fatalities if that's true then that does mean Kano is an actual true fighter to the game. More fatalities, a ray fatality, which is sick. And then at the end here, we just have another fatality. So from the gameplay that we saw, I am not going to lie to you. I did not see any stage interactables at all or stage transitions. So again, I think it's safe to assume no stage interactables, no stage transitions. It's all about combos and your cameos and who you team up with via your cameo fighter your character and your super is going to change based on who your cameo fighter is which is pretty cool if you really just want to main one character like myself i'm going to main raiden obviously then my raiden i can learn raiden like five different ways i want my raiden to be a cameo with kano i want to learn how to cameo with sub-zero i want to learn how to cameo with anybody really it's just a matter of like who do you want to cameo with can you learn all the cameos so then your then your character diversion is absolutely insane you can you can play raiden 20 different ways and totally mix it up up every single fight there's just so much going on but for the gameplay here i think the biggest notes again is no stage transition stage fatalities that we saw or even stage interactables so not a lot to do with the stage from what we saw this trailer but they really focus on the cameo supers and cameo fighters showing you how they change the game and again this frame right here reminds me of batman fighting somebody in the bar stage in for injustice 2 that's just what i think again i'm not too mad about it, it looks really fast paced kind of like how injustice 2 really was but that's just my my kind of thought process guys let me know down below what do you think of this gameplay breakdown we just did for mortal kombat 1 and their official first gameplay trailer are you impressed do you like it do you hate it what are your thoughts did we miss anything did you notice something that maybe we did not let me know your thoughts down below in your fighting game journey make sure and take it one step at a time my dudes and i will see you in the next one